Saving lives in Iraq, the water purification kit produced by this company in Essex. Contaminated water goes in here, we then do them up and pump away, and clean drinkable water without pathogens comes out here. As we speak, tens of thousands of Yazidi refugees are still hiding in fear of their lives in the mountains of northern Iraq. Tonight, vital aid, including life-saving equipment made by a company in Essex, is on its way to the region where it will be dropped from the air by the RAF. Richard Daniel reports. At Lifesaver near Colchester, there's been no time to spare. The crisis in northern Iraq means they've been working flat out, assembling water purifiers. I had a call from Diffid on Monday morning um, asking us to produce 850 jerry cans. But it basically was all hands to the pumps. We normally produce about 1,000 a week, um, but we produced 850 in two days. And those water purifiers were today being loaded onto a flight in the East Midlands, bound first for Cyprus before being airdropped by the RAF to the tens of thousands of Yazidi refugees stranded in northern Iraq. In total, Diffid has pledged £8 million in order to help the um, refugees in northern Iraq. Uh, two million of that will be airdrop supplies. Um, several thousand pounds worth of uh, water containers will be going out on the flight today. To survive an airdrop, these water purifiers have to be tough. They're very simple to operate too. Contaminated water goes in here. You then do them up and pump away. And clean, drinkable water without pathogens comes out here. And critically for the refugees, they can use these devices a thousand times. This is the second consignment of Lifesaver water purifiers to be sent to Iraq in a week. The plight of so many, thousands of miles away, in atrocious conditions, is all the motivation the team needs. It's a very proud moment seeing it, uh, seeing it thrown out of the back of the plane, but, but more importantly, uh, uh, you know, there to actually help people um, with clean, sour drinking water, which they don't have access to at the moment. Richard Daniel, BBC Look East, Essex.